Tonight, Manchester neighbors are in shock after a gunman shot two police officers outside of their homes early yesterday morning. Right now, suspect Ian McPherson is facing two counts of attempted capital murder and is due in court on Monday. McPherson allegedly shot Officer Ryan Hardy on Ferry Street and then shot Officer Matthew O'Connor near Putnam Street. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Stephanie Woods. The shootings put several neighborhoods on lockdown for hours and closed schools on Manchester's west side yesterday. WMUR's Kristen Crosa joins us live from Ferry Street. And Kristen, how are people there reacting? Steph, this portion of Ferry Street was closed all day yesterday. Many people living here stayed in their homes just as a precaution. And now today they are breathing a sigh of relief. Investigators were back out on Ferry Street Saturday collecting evidence and taking pictures. This is where Officer Ryan Hardy was allegedly shot by 32-year-old Ian McPherson twice, just after 2 a.m. Friday morning. We couldn't leave our house. They, they had the yellow tape up. Ellen Prudholm lives right near where the shooting happened. She says she's still in shock. And we're seriously thinking about moving because I don't know if it's going to keep going this way. The police chief says Officer Hardy thought McPherson fit the description of a suspect in an armed robbery of a gas station Thursday morning. Despite being shot, Hardy was able to tell dispatch the suspect was headed south on 2nd Street. He then allegedly headed to the area of Putnam and Rimmon Streets. It's just nuts. You know, people running around shooting cops. Can't do that. Officer Matthew O'Connor was shot in the leg near Putnam Street roughly 20 minutes later. This woman heard the gunshots from her home. She says police responded fast. They were here working quick. They were here in a hot beat. Five schools were shut down on the west side. Several streets were told to shelter in place. Police say McPherson was in custody by 5 a.m. He faces two counts of attempted capital murder. Each charge can carry a sentence of life in prison. Despite that, neighbors living on Ferry Street say they're still on edge. It is kind of scary, something you don't want your kids growing up around. This woman did not want to show her face, but wasn't afraid to tell us how the shootings are making her feel. I actually was like really scared. I even started crying because, um, you know, the nerves inside of you, something like that happening. I've never heard gunshots in my life. Certainly a very scary situation. Both officers involved are recovering tonight and are expected to be okay. Live in Manchester, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.